All right, but just do a quick comparison in the size of the stubby. There we go. Uh, about the same, about the same thickness. Yeah, they're just about the same. Nope. Nope, the, it's a, it is fatter. It's a little bit fatter, but not much. But yeah, but this is a much, much bigger, much more powerful tool. And so the, the maximum RPM for this is 2400, and the RPM for the bigger one is two, uh, 2575. Wow, this has more impacts per minute than the 2960 does. That's interesting. But we can't do a versus video with these because this, the stubby would get destroyed from this one. It's a beast. This is a beast. So already today what we are gonna do is we are actually gonna test out and explore the brand new mid-range Milwaukee Impact Wrench. All right, so this thing just came out. This thing is awesome. It's actually very compact. And we're gonna test this out and see what this can do and look at the specs. My good friend Robert Bates let me borrow the tool, so I gotta be careful with it, so I can't really test it to the major extreme. You know, and one thing I am gonna say is, when it comes to these type of impact wrenches, it is really hard to do a true test on, on their power. Because they're, compared to the average, uh, even the contractor, compared to what a lot of people do, it's very hard to actually show the 600 foot pounds that this thing packs. You know, like there's only uh, certain types of tests that uh, most YouTube channels could actually do, unless they have a full, full fledged operational mechanic shop where they actually need the 600 foot pounds. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. We are going to do a versus video between these two uh, in the future, in the next couple of days. And today's date, I think, is the 24th. All right, so in a couple of days, a versus video is coming. So I'm actually curious to see on which one of these will prevail. And yes, yeah, so as you see, just a quick size comparison, the Milwaukee is actually, uh, it's actually shorter. So that's going to be a good one. So please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and like this video. It's going to be a good one. All right, but this video is going to be about this bad boy. So let's uh, look at the specs and test this out and see what this could actually do. This is the 3 8 inch anvil. I have a 3 8 to a half inch adapter on there with a friction ring. It has tri LED beams on the front. And this is a awesome looking mamma jamma. All right, we will be using a six amp hour high output battery in this video. And so the model number for this, let's zoom out a little bit. All right, so the model number for this is 2960-20. It is four speed settings, auto, speed one. I like that motor. That motor is, it's, uh, it's like a whining motor. Speed two, speed three. And as you can see, uh, I'm not doing a versus video right now. That's right. All right that, but that motor is quiet though. It really is a quiet motor. All right, so this goes to the max speed is 2,575 RPMs, and this goes to 3,100 impacts per minute. I want to do a versus video so bad because I have that sitting right next to me, but oh well. But 3 8 inch anvil, but I'll put the torque in for this right now, and this thing is awesome. All right, so let's do a few tests on this and see how this could actually do. I don't want to do too much because I want to save some for the versus video. Like I said earlier in the video, it is really hard to do a test for this actual power for 600 foot pounds. You need like a huge piece of uh, construction equipment to do a real test on this to see what it could actually do. Like take a, take a lug nuts off of a wheel that's like nine feet uh, or 10 feet tall. And so that's the type of work for this. So this is hard to produce a test for this. So, but I'm going to try my best and let's get to it. And remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. I got mine right here. Like I said, I do have a 3 8 adapter. Put the ball detent. 
See now that is that is a ball detent right there. That's a ball detent. There we go. All right, so what we are going to test out, we since this has plenty of power, we're going to test out a four, a six, an eight, a ten, and a five eighths inch eight uh, by eight inch. So yeah, that's what we are going to test out today. All right, so first we're, we are going to do the four inch. We're going to do them all on this ring right here. We, it is on speed three. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Wow. Holy cow. That is... That is crazy. That is crazy power. What I should do is I, sh I should have gotten like about 15 of those 10 inch lags and just go to town. That would be a good stress test on the motor. All right, next is the six inch. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. That is that is powerful. All right, so let's do an eight inch next. We'll do the eight inch right here. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys battery. Oh, whoa, three bars. Wow, battery was full. Maybe just a, in a maybe after I'm done with the test, it'll go back up. I'm not gonna wait though. All right, so ready. Go. A little bit more. Time. That has zero issue at all and it's it's being consistent like the the uh, anvil inside is not skipping so it's hitting almost every time which is amazing so some of you might think that these tests are irrelevant but this actually takes a lot of energy to drive these in it really does do the 10 inch right here this is going to be an interesting one all right so ready go Nope, a little bit more. That's it. Wow. That takes, that's actually, that's crazy. All right, so for these, for these four, what I want to do is I want to take them all out at once and put them on one timer. Because that's what we're also going to do in the future for when I, we go against the DeWalt. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Next one, ready, go. Time, next one, ready, go. Crazy. This is doing it with zero problems, like no hesitation at all. All right, ready, go. A little bit more. There we go. Wow, that is crazy. That is smoking inside. All right, let's take this out. Ooh, that's getting warm too.
All right, and so for the final lag, we are gonna do this one right here. 5 8 inch by 8 inch bolt, lag, I should say. All right, so it's a battery light fit. It's the same, three bars. All right, ready, go. Oh, sorry, ready, go. Yep, done. Now for that one, this skipped majorly. So it was it, it did it it did it with no issues, but the motor was skipping the anvil, so it was missing strikes, which that's not it's not a bad thing. That this thing is a, this thing's a beast. It is an absolute beast. All right, so let, uh, let's take it out. Ready? Go. Time. Wow, that is that is seriously insane. I'm not gonna. All right, so this is the situation for most people, for contractors. You know, it's a speciality for when you use this to the max. I have nothing that I could uh, put up to 600 foot pounds. I have nothing. I don't even have so like besides this. I have uh, zero. <laughs> That's the issue of doing these tests is like it's very hard to find something that you could actually put up to 600 foot pounds and a device to actually do it so you know that it is exactly at 600 foot pounds so this so we can see if this takes it out. That's the issue when it comes to very powerful impact wrenches because most people, mainly mechanics or like foundation guys, they don't need 600 foot pounds of torque, but this thing is awesome. This thing is seriously awesome. See, as you guys can see, I, I have a huge uh, bolt right here. This thing is huge. This, is, this nut is an inch and a half, but I have nothing that I could actually like tighten this up to, nor do I have a device that I could tighten this up to 600 foot pounds besides this, you know, but it's, that's absolutely, so like this type of power is, in, is insane and it's awesome to have. You know, will you need that power? Probably not, but it is good to have it. This thing is awesome. Alrighty, so when it comes to this tool, this tool majorly did impress me. This tool did the hardest tasks with no problem. So it's able to do those tasks with using little energy and without overheating, which is a huge thing for the lifespan of the tool. If you don't overwork your tools, the better. That's why it is better to have a higher foot pound motor that's able to do, that's able to do that than a lower uh, foot pound motor because the lower foot pound motor to do the same task will work harder to get it done when this will do it with no, with no issues whatsoever. Now, like I said, we are doing a versus video soon, so please subscribe to the channel for that and be uh, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos for that. So this is going to be a good one. I'm seriously curious on which one of these will win. I can tell you right now, the Milwaukee has 575 more RPMs than the Dewalt does, but they're the same in impacts per minute. So this is going to be a good one. So please uh, stick around for that one. It's going to be good. We will be using the Flex Fold Advantage battery. So we will we'll be doing 6 amp hour versus 6 amp hour for that. So this tool is awesome. Do I recommend you guys get it? 100%. If you're if you need the four uh if you need the 600 foot pounds, I recommend this one because their mid-range one uh it's huge compared to this. So this thing is actually 100% worth it because they made it a lot smaller. And I'm pretty sure it has almost the same power as the bigger, the, the Gen 2 mid-range. So I just want to show you guys how the, what this can do really quick. There are going to be more tests in the future with nuts and bolts. We're going to torque them down to uh, certain foot-pounds and see which one busts the nut fastest. And so, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.